All right, so this is going to be an example of an elastic collision. And if you remember these, uh, these types of collisions, this is an elastic, these types of collisions uh, conserve uh, momentum and they conserve uh, energy. So we can keep that in mind whenever we're solving these. So we want to read through this. You know, we have a gentleman here who's juggling baseballs. Each of them has this mass right here. So we can kind of put that in. So mass one, we're going to have velocity one. We'll go initial. And then we'll go mass two, velocity two, initial. And then we'll go um, mass one, velocity one, final. And then mass two, velocity two, final. Okay, and then we just have to put these numbers in, and uh, let me see if I can. No, I probably can't move them. So we have to solve this, and we're going to use an equation where we have the momentum on one side. Uh, you know, p initial equals p final. And then we would plug in mass and velocity for each one and then make it equal to the other side and solve for our unknown. So let's go ahead and plug some numbers in. So we said the first, they all have a mass of 0 0.20 kilograms. So that's 0 0.20. We'll put all that in. We don't necessarily need the second mass, I added it, so we'll just leave it. Because the mass isn't going to change. So 0 0.20, and then velocity initial. Uh, so they have a collision with the result being the first heads off, so we'll make this the first. This is the second right here. And then, so the first, heads off to the right, and we're going this way, so we'll make that positive. If we're going this way, we'll make it negative. So this one's going to be to the right with the velocity, so it heads off, so that's going to be the final. Make that 3.0. And the other, the second, heads off to the left, so that's going to be final. At a speed of 4. So 4.0. It says if the, the first ball's velocity was 4 point meters per second to the left, it's going to be negative 4 on this side. Uh, what is the velocity of the second? So we want to know that. So this could be an elastic collision. So we're going to want to remember our answer is one, going to want to be positive because we're heading in opposite directions. So then if we plug in our equation. I'll just write it out here. Mass 1, velocity 1, plus mass 2, velocity 2, equals mass 1, velocity 1, plus mass 2, oh, mass 2, velocity 2. This is your initial. We'll put an I above it. This is your final. So then we just plug our numbers in. Uh, we have the first one is 0.2 is initial velocity is negative 4. Then we're going to add same thing, 0.2 And that's going to be, uh, actually, yeah, we don't know this one, so we'll leave it V. And then that's that side. But then we know on the other side, we're going to have same mass, 0.2. And then this heads off at 3 to the right, so it's a positive one. And then we're going to add... 
then that's going to be at, what is that one? So it's out to the left, it's off to the right. Speed of to the left, this is a negative. This could be a negative four, right? Okay, then we do our math. So then we get our calculator out, not too difficult here. So 0 0.2 times four, probably almost do this in your head. It's 0 0.8. That's going to be a negative. Negative 0 0.8 plus 0.2 V. So we'll move this over a little bit. Even this one over a little bit. Plus zero. Point two v, and then that's going to equal point two times three. That should give us point six plus point eight. This could be a negative, and then we can just do our math over here. This is going to be we get this together. It's going to be negative point two. That's going to equal all this, 0 0.20V. And then we're going to have to add 0 0.8 to both sides. Add 0 0.8 to this one, you're going to get 6. So in the end we have 0 0.20V equals 0. 0.6, and then if you do the math, V equals 3 meters per second. Should be your answer, okay? And if we kind of compare, it kind of makes sense. This one was 3 at the end, and this one was 4, so they kind of switch places. This one becomes the opposite direction, and this is our answer, 3 meters per second right. So that should um, work out pretty good. And then you could always check it for kinetic energy. We won't on this one. That's how you solve these. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, good luck with the problems in the book.